Accra is a busy city with lots of people trooping in from villages and interland in search of greener pastures. A highly populated city in West Africa with the dominant local language, Chui, Ga, and a few English speaking people, is where Chimney Crane was born in the Kolibu Teaching Hospital in 1986. Born to Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Dafo, with whom Chimney grew up on the principles of uprightness and discipline with education being his father's priority. The young chap was educated in Ave Maria School, a Catholic junior high school where he discovered his potential with words, not just musically but writing in general, as he used to top his English compositions and quizzes. Later he moved on to Achimoto School in 2001. In between these times, Chimney Crane had developed his love for music and was already pursuing it with his writing pad. Putting down battle flows, he became a beast out there and one that most would not just pick out easily. It wasn't until Chimney graduated high school in 2004 that this 17-year-old boy started his musical journey. One who couldn't afford the studio time but always wanted to record, Chimney would always hang around Bandana, now Shatawali, so he could learn a thing or two since Bandana had a song in the mainstream then. The realities of the industry in Ghana and its loopholes were little by little exposed to this young ambitious rapper. Even though he wasn't doing dancehall, the work ethic is what kept Chimney Crane close on the trail of Shatawali. Then he admired his go-getting spirit till date. After placing on the Sprite MC Africa, Chimney thought the judgment wasn't fair and should have emerged winner eventually as the whole competition rules were changed at the very last minute. Everyone was coming in for a battle competition, looking for a winner eventually, but the rules were changed when Chimney got to the final five, with Chimney having the best battle with an equally matched rapper, Padlock, now TJ Humphrey. They gave the crowd a thrill. After this competition, Chimney felt that his only chance to be heard with his English flow and hip-hop since he could barely afford a meal for himself, let alone fly out of the country where English rap was more comprehended. Hence, he switched to the local dialect gun so he can begin appealing to the local audience. Later, he dropped a smashing hit single in 2013 titled Oyeho, a song to create awareness on teenage pregnancy. That got him nominated in the Ghana Music Awards for Music for Development category for that year. Chimney lost that to a bigger brand and got him reflecting on the lessons he learned from his predecessor Shatawali with respect to the loopholes and twitches in the music industry players to say no to artists they do not own. Never giving up on the quest to find a big deal or a team who would believe in the bigger picture, Chimney pressed on through so many obstacles such as a car accident, a stab attack to be robbed and a fire outbreak that lost all his belongings and nearly lost his life as well. According to eyewitnesses, Chimney had to dive through the fire and landed on his shoulder that got cracked and fractured, just like in the movies. Dude ended up back on the streets of a cry with hustle from scratch like an immigrant. He's focused and knows what he wants, though he gets misunderstood sometimes. One time, he had the hardest battle rap song against Africa's giant most influential rapper, Sarkadir. That gained him a lot of haters and mad lovers at the same time. Dude kind of fit in a controversial space perfectly with Advice Yourself, a smashing hit single that caused to stay online. And I was amongst 10 most treated songs in Africa, Ghana that week in 2018. Chimney has had his song scored in a movie by Shirley from Paul Manso and Ivan Okoro in a successful movie that gained nomination in South Africa and yet couldn't get a hold of the producers of the movie. The man be stabbed a couple times and had doors shut in his face. Yet he had the zeal of proving a point that he indeed got something awesome to prove to this world. Losing two studio albums already through self-centered predecessors, Chimney is seeking to make a point and to do that magic with positive goal-oriented people hence his debut album titled Blood, Sweat and Tears. This hustler ain't stopped at nothing and got lots in his closet. Recently in October, Shatawali asked his fans if he could sign Chimney Crane onto his Shatta movement label. The response online went crazy as everyone was for it. It even brought the street campaign and people from all walks of life, cheering for it to happen. But the whole thing came crashing when the two had a misunderstanding about an opinion, which resulted in the dancehall king forgetting about Chimney Crane and wishing him well on his musical journey. This rapper is so optimistic and respectful that even though he wasn't wrong with his opinion, he still went ahead to make a post to apologize just to keep calm to his old love predecessor and motivator. However, this young king is on his hustle and hopes to make waves to attract potentially good or better deals in the near future with his first album titled Blood, Sweat and Tears. <laughs>